Hi guys, welcome. Today I've been working on Ariser. The project Ariser is actually a project that wants to stay as close as possible to Arch. So if that is your goal, the best thing to stay as close to Arch is the Arch Linux ISO. Then you start typing. Or there is the Arch install script from Arch Linux. Or there is Ariser. So this is the end result. What I've done already is also run the Nemesis scripts. So have a look at that. That's possible to have something that removes things that you see in a distro and say, I don't want this. So 400 is remove all kinds of things. And it keeps on making more and more changes. And it's up to you to decide what you want to keep or what you're going to remove from a distro. So. This is the look that I like, right? It's just a few things I've added, gone, gone in here in the settings and went in here and I set it to Arcanix Arc Dark Candy, which can immediately become something totally different. So it's pure arch. And um, I think we can see some versions if you like that. At the bottom here, you have about the system, so you know, we are on KDE Plasma version of 5.26.5 at this point in time, and so on. So it's on Arch. Well, Arch Linux is also on Arch, Carly is also on Arch, and ALCI is also on Arch. It's all Arch Linux. But here, we stay as close as possible to, let's restart, to Arch. So let us show how we started all this. So a virtual box. I reboot into the firmware interface. This is not grub. By default, this is system D boot. To in a clean machine, you'll have this. No, sorry. You will see this. And it will ask you, like any other Arch Linux system, this is pure Arch. And if it's a BIOS system, you have a nice graphical uh, logo there. But this is UEFI in VirtualBox. So you'll get this can do with speak or without speak. So this is still at this point in time, pure Arch. We just boot the Arch Linux ISO. What we've added to the Arch Linux ISO are scripts, scripts from Alice from, from PicoDev. So Alice Arch Linux installer script. That's what it stands for. And all I have to do is type the word Alice and then do you want to get the latest of the last GitHub code? Yes or no. So if it's an old ISO, then yes, you get new stuff in. Shall we start the LS script? Yes or no. And you just start. Now, when I say yes, the default settings are XFCE. If you want to get back to Plasma, well, you say no, right? And then you go to well, first of all, this is QWERTY. That's important for people. So figure out what you need. Load keys, BE, Latin one is my setup to get to load keys with an N, all right, like this with an S. And then I have a ZERTY. CD, let's do this, LS. So the first two folders there, ls and ls dev, dev is for development. So if uh, pico dev is gonna add code, I test it out with the dev development. So ls is the good way to go. So cd ls, and in here is everything you need to know. With this folder and the content of this folder, you're good to go. And we run start sh, but from now on you can also start ls.sh, right? Now, like I said, the configuration, the default conf, the guys that are not green, there is an ls.conf somewhere. Where are you? There he is at the bottom left, ls.conf. If you say nano ls.conf, then in here is somewhere XFCE and not KDE. So if you want to have the KDE again, here he is, line 151. KDE is not installed. Exclamation mark, not installed. XFC is installed. Simple as that. Now, 
the idea of the configs is that you change the content and I've kept the configs folder there, the blue folder to the right from lsdev the same and mine personally my folder will be config with a z so cd config z or let's do ls config z this is the ls config kde and the only thing i do is change xfce into kde so it's a simple script which i do not need i do not need right i can just go in here and start typing Control x but the script the idea of the script is that i just do the following config z and then i choose what i want ls config kde enter that's it and what i've changed Control w what i've changed kde is in line 151 more or less in the middle of the screen it says now kde desktop environment and that's it so with this little script i changed the whole line 151 to what i want to have kde and the display manager will be out auto and auto means it's going to use sem for kde obviously so if i want to kick start everything i say ls.sh dot sh and it goes on do you want to continue yes no and from now on the current plasma is going to be overwritten with a new plasma and this is i think the way to go in the sense that this is the purest way to stay to close to arch the scripting is done by somebody else not me pico dev he's the maintainer of the ls script i'm the maintainer of the ariser project mesh them together and you've got a system that stays super close to arch and then later on you do whatever you want meaning in my case i will install the arclex nemesis scripts and it will know oh look it's on the riser i will do this and this and this and that or i am on arch linux and i will do this and this and that it is all defined inside the nemesis scripts all right enjoy a riser the new iso is online and you can play with it you can build it you can create your own ariser like i've done last uh, holiday i've created sierra and that's just for me so have fun with it you can start by downloading and testing and say okay cool idea then you can actually move forward to make your own iso your own setup all right enjoy